Model Making Guru is sponsored by eModels.co.uk, your one-stop shop for all your model making needs. eModels.co.uk, make something awesome. Mystery package. Ooh. Hey everyone, it's Fox from Model Making Guru here. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome to another mystery package times. And this times it's huge mystery package times. This thing's massive and it weighs about a ton. Oh, this has come all the way from Neil Gardner uh, in sunny, sunny Scotland land. Well, it might be sunny, sunny, it might be miserable and cold right now, I don't know. I will assume sunny, sunny. I like to think you come from one of the more beautiful parts of Scotland. Anyway, he sent me this massive package. Ugh. Uh, he said, I've just kind of randomly got some stuff in a box and I might have got carried away. And yeah, it's eh, weighs a ton. I've got no idea what's in here. I think, I think there's some treats for me, like noms. Uh, there's some Scottishy things and there's some stuff for giveaways for you guys. Oh, look at that. It's dark here, isn't it? From outside the lights, it's really dark. Ooh, I can make animals. Can I make a, what animal can I make? It's not a that's a rubbish animal anyway yes yeah, so there's be some treats for you guys and treats for me and let's find out so without further ado boink! oh i did it first time cool let's get this puppy open shall we now i'm obviously going to open it now and then i'll get things out one by one and move the camera because it's the dark you can't see anything so let's get this puppy open i've got the official model making guru knife of opening with no stability because it's dull as anything it's duller than a Tory party conference. Right, no, that's wrong. Duller than a Liberal party conference. They're pretty dull. It's duller than the Dewey Decimal Appreciation Society annual conference. Let's put it that way. Let's get out of politics and just do it that way instead. There you go. Oh, can't get the tape off. He did say you'll know it's mine by the banana tape. Have to say, I've not seen bright yellow tape before. Oh, 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 I don't believe it. The first thing I see when I open the lid. God damn! God damn it! Neil, let's have a look. Hi, Fox. Hello, Fox. Hey, Fox. Even I'll just, I'll just, shall I just not read the words on the sheet and just make up some other words. Hey Fox, welcome to your unbelievably random care package. Please find and close the plethora of completely random articles. Dig in and enjoy. Thanks for great content you've been providing and to all future content yet to come. Jerry, goes by the name Jerry. Look at that, look at that, yeah. I can't, do you know, I don't know. Chris, what, you've got to answer for all this, Chris, because it's all your fault. Thank you, Jerry. Yeah. Thank you for that. Oh, blimey, Riley. I don't know what this tape is, but it's not giving up its secrets very easily. Not without me getting in the way of the camera. Yeah. I think model making that box opening knife might be coming to the end of its natural life. We might need to source a replacement. Oh, wow. Oh, there's more tape. Hang on. Hot tape cutting action like you've never seen. Let's have a quick look inside. Oh my. Oh my. Right. I'll get this box down and I'll go what's in the box one by one. So I'll remove the camera, remove the camera, even move the camera and sort it all out. So back in a moment. One, two, three, back in the... Oh, Go away! Get out! Can't believe the world waited a hundred years in movie history for CGI to appear and when we appeared, what we got was that. To appear properly, you know what I mean. Anyway, right, we have many, many goodies, many edibles. Let's find out what we've got. I'm just going to go through the order they are in the pack. There's all kinds of random stuff in here. It's all wonderful looking. So first off, let's find out what we've got. We have, bear in mind, this is, this is, he comes in, he's from Scotland. So obviously, 
Let's find out. So, the traditional Scottish snack of Ugwa, the rice snack from Cho Chung Ugwa from Nong Shin. Look at that. Oh, yes. Uh, did it tell me what it is? Product of Korea. Ooh, Nong Shim. I've had Nong Shim stuff before. Nong Shim would be nice stuff. Rice snacks. Do they have a flavour? We'll find out. I, I assume that's like maple syrup or honey. Ooh. So these are going to be like little rice cakes. Mmm. They will get eaten. They will get eaten. Cho Chung Ugwa. Typical Scottish fare. Haggis and Ugwa. What, what more do you need? Put that there. We have, I don't know what this one is, I've not looked at it yet. We have a pack of hot and spicy things. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Just in case you're wondering, potato, potato. So these are obviously crisps. They're hot and spicy, they're Japanese. I'm going to assume they're a bit. I might have to eat these soon because these are a bit, uh, a bit expandy. We have to have some translation on these. Uh, they ran out on the 2nd of June. Oh no. They run out on the 11th of June. They're out of date, but I'll eat them anyway. Doesn't matter. I'm still going to eat them. Ooh. So they're hot and spicy. Now there are tradition. Hot and spicy potato. There is a tradition in Korea and Japan for things like crisps to be stupidly hot. Like they have the hot challenge, the, the noodle challenge, where you get the noodles and you explode when you eat them. Also applies to chips and crisps. So... I shall eat those. I'll probably eat those today because it looks like they need to be eaten now. So, awesome. We have... We have... Pfft, I don't even know. We have some. Boy Bawang Cornic. Adobo flavour. I know what that word means. I don't know what the... I don't know what a Bawang is or a Cornic or Adobo. It's brilliant. That's going to be a great mystery noms because it gives me no information. I don't know what Bawang is. I don't know what Cornic are, and I have no idea what flavour adobo is. Does it taste like a White House? It's got sweet corn on the front. So shall we assume it feels like, it feels like there's little bits of sweet corns in there. So, I think this is going to be flavoured sweet corns. Cool, because I love sweet corn. Bigger, tastier, crunchier. And there's a little dude on the front there. I thought that was hair at first. It looks weird, but it's not. It's just the thing. Is that, is that garlic? So it's sweet corn, garlic, olive oil, and the finest bottle of brown. Cool. That's my aim. Ingredients, fried corn, vegetable oil, may contain coconut oil and or palm oleine, sugar, monosodium glutamate, onion powder, artificial flavor, beef. Oh, beef. I, uh, iodized salt and soy sauce powder. Ooh. So it's beef and onion, sweet corn. Cool! That's just so bizarre. It's my kind of thing. So put that there. Beef and onions, sweet. I, hmm. Right, what else do we have? We have. Oh! We have what I've just dropped. Ugh, it's hard to get hold of. We have Nong Shim, rather enormous, some Shin noodle soup. Oh, look at that. Gourmet spicy. I don't know how hot this will be. But this will be perfect for a mystery noms because I don't know what flavour it is. Big bowl, it is. Uh, instant noodle shin, hot and spicy. Okay, so it doesn't tell me what flavour it is. Perfect. So it's great because then I can eat it on camera and try and guess what flavour. Cool. Five minutes 30 in the microwave. Wow, that's, that's like a full meal, five minutes 30. Cool. Mystery nom times incoming. I can imagine what it's going to taste like, but I don't know what flavour it is. Is it chicken? Is it beef? Is it, this is where Mystery Noms comes from. We have some. Uh, absolutely no idea. Excellent. Nutrition facts. Contains nutrition. I know it's going to have chilies in it. It's going to have... I don't know what that is. Uh, it's got noodles. So these are instant noodles. So, no idea what flavour. Cool. More mystery noms. Thank you. I've got, I've, I need to work my way through the other noodles I got the other day. Oh, I've got loads of them now. Uh, cup noodles. Nissin cup noodle. Yes. Traditional cup noodles. This is 
oh, spicy beef flavour with multicoloured beads. Clearly it contains Zaku beads. So, so I'm sweating already. Spicy beef flavour. So I can't really do a mystery noms on that because it tells me what it is. Oh, look at that. I do like the, uh, the Nissan Cup noodles. They are very, very nice. These are the traditional ramen noodles. Mm, I want to know what these are. Those might be sweet corn, but what are the green thing? They're like peas, but they're kind of glowing. I don't... Hmm. Serving suggestion. Just put it in a bowl. There you go. We suggest you put it in a bowl. And it's weird seeing all this blurb and nutrition stuff on the lid when normally that's where you get all the artwork. Hmm. Excellent. More noodles, because noodles are the food of kings. We have some... Ooh! Mango gummies with fruit juice. Oh, I love mango. Gummy manga, dengan juice, dengan juice babuahan pekat. So something juice, something something. Oh, I wonder how juicy they are. We will have to find out. Mango flavor, Parisia manga. Oh, cool. Gummy manga. How gummy? Are I'm gonna have to try one now. Aren't I? I'm gonna try one now. I can't get it open. Hang on. I need my official Tamiya mango packet opening. I'm only opening these ones now because I'm actually quite thirsty and it says they're juicy. So let's find out. Put that there. Ooh. It's like, it feels, ooh, I can, ooh. Oh, have a smell of that. Go on, have a smell of that. Oh, it smells like mango. They feel like squishy. They're like, I hate to say it, they're like tiny boobs. Boobs. Let's get one open. Oh, oh, God. Hands dropping, throwing. I like juicy things and I'm quite thirsty, so let's find out. Maybe they've got juice in the middle. Ooh, look at that. Heart shaped. It feels like a tiny boob. Let's go in. I'm going in. Mm, nom, 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 boing, boing, boing. Mm. Mmm, 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 that tastes exactly like mango, which is funny because they are mango flavoured. Mmm, it tastes, it doesn't taste like flavoured to taste like mango, it actually tastes like mango. You know, normally sweets and things, they have a, a similar flavour, that actually tastes like mango. Right, what's next? Next we have, we have... <laughs> Have you ever played Deadly Premonition? Uh, you know how like all the products have got really weird names like there's a jar, there's a tin and it just says the pickle on it. And there's a picture of pickle because it's got pickles in the jar. This is some, um, a vegetarian diet, the steak. The steak. DHC spicy bean curd. Okay, so it's basically... There's like a block of it in there. It's a block of bean curd, which I assume is made out to taste like spicy beef, and it probably looks like that. Cool! Ingredients, non-gem soybean, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so that gets it. So it is a vegetarian steak, or vegetarian diet, the steak. Mmm. I shall eat this. Thank you very much. I've never... Did they say bean curd? I don't think I've actually eaten bean curd before. And if it tastes like meat, that's another first. Cool. Ah, we have some more boy bawang cornic, but these are hot garlic flavor. Oh, hang on, hang on. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I get it now. So these are hot garlic. So I was right, this is a garlic. And he's going, explode your mouth. Garlic's good, hot garlic. That's hot garlic flavor, which means that, I don't know what adobo is. I really have no idea. So this, I guess, is the beef. Did I say it was beef? I think it was beef. Beef something flavor. Okay, cool. So we've got hot garlic and adobo. And I like the fact, even in other countries, the tradition for beef is brown and yellow. This works for me. Okay, so a pack of sweet corns. We have. Ooh, this feels weird. <laughs> okay, 
we've gone kind of Chinese or Japanese and also a little bit German because we have pickled cabbage flavour instant vermicelli cool it feels squishy pickled cabbage this is a bit of sauerkraut instant sweet potato noodle cool I never quite knew the idea of if I never got this right it's a Chinese noodle but it's called vermicelli which is an Italian sounding name and I never quite got why it was called vermicelli why would you I never quite got that what are they actually called in Chinese rather than just vermicelli my desk is really wobbly sorry I apologize I'm locking the desk with my chair it's like you know hey it's a vermicelli it's Italian like a pizza oh no wait pizza's Greek oh I so always got me that vermicelli cool so they should get eaten See, this is sorting out my all these noodles I'm getting. This is sorting out my meals for the next two weeks. So pickled cabbage flavour, instant vermicelli. Awesome. What I might have to do, I think, is for all these ones where I, I can tell what it is because it says on the packet, I might do a separate mystery noms, but like uh, not so much a mystery noms, but a sort of road testing where I just try all the different things and let you know what they're like. I'll still do mystery noms for the ones where I don't know what they are, like that. But for these, obviously, I'll just be reviewing them, perhaps. It's like a non-review. Okay, so that's the vermicelli. That sound, that's, uh, looks really nice. What else do we have? Uh, we have a couple more food things, I think. Three more food things, maybe. We have some uh, spicy flavour. Uh, instant noodles. with a very strange character on the front that, I don't know, it, it doesn't look like your typical Japanese or Chinese character. It also looks, for some reason, it's making me think of a little bit Dutch or Swedish because of the blue, I don't know. But he's got little wooden sandals. I'm guessing, obviously, it's Japanese. Strange little character. So we've got some spicy flavour from Nissin. Very non-specific Nissin Deme Ramen. Uh, any flavour on there? Nope. Nope, no, no. Awesome. It's obviously got things in it. I like the little sort of, the little sort of, I don't know what they are. They look like some kind of bondage toy, but we'll move on from that one quickly. So awesome. That's great. Again, another lunchtime snack. Mm -mm -mm. And then we have some, uh, what the hell? We have some Despicable Me something tubes there's several of these like long tubes uh, the Chinese because it says product of China uh, AS Haw fruit snack huh bizarre let's get one out and see what it is if I can get one out individually can I get one out <laughs> Yeah, I can get two out. Where did you get these, dude? Yeah. There we go. I thought it was going to be a box full of like Scottish treats, but it's all just awesome noodles and things. I'm assuming you have like a a relevant shop in your area. If I remember right, you are from Scotland, if I believe. If I read the address on the side correctly. Let me just double check. Uh, he did put his address on the side of the box. Yeah. He's in Edinburgh. So these are all good traditional Scottish snacks. This is a fruit stick. It's hollow. It's like rolled over. Let's have a taste. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Tastes like... I'm doing a mystery noms, aren't I? But never mind. You get a free mystery noms in this video. Tastes like... Um... Mm, a little bit like... Dates, maybe a little bit like dates with a hint of hint of raisins. Quite pleasant, actually. Oh yeah, I finished that. It's not good eating on camera, but and what you can do is you can unroll it. La 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 la. You could make something with that. No. Ow. Now my stick, finger, fingers are sticky. Ugh. That was a bad move. Nom nom nom. Mm. That tastes like dates. It's nice. 
hint of grapes, a hint of, I don't know, but I'm trying to think of a pulpy fruit and I can't think the name of it. A little bit of a tang to it. I think if I ate all those at once, I might get a hose pipe, but. Uh, right, what is next? There's still tons to come. Now after this, we have the model making things. So, let's find out. We have this mysterious thing here. I don't know what this is. Let's find out. Could it be food? It might be. This may take a while. Oh, blimey, early. Hang on, hang on. Where's, where's model making box opening knife? He's been absorbed into the collective. Can you find him, Captain? Let me get, let me get a proper model making knife. Let's do this the easy way. There we go. That's better. That's Tetley. Knife carefully away. Fresh blade. Don't want to be stabbity. Right. What is this? What is this? What is this? This is in bubble wrap. It is. Does it smell? I can't tell what this is. Carefully open. Let's have a look and see. This is. Oh! Oh, dude! Oh, dude! <laughs> this is a lifetime supply. That's more! Oh, man! This is awesome. This is a lifetime supply of Tamir Extra Thin, Tamir Extra Thin Fast Setting, and some Tamir Fat. Dude, that I've got I've got enough to last me for years now. Put those up there with the others. I've got enough to last me for years. I've got two pots of the fast setting now. It's going to be really handy. Oh, now I can make loads of sprue goo. Awesome! If you haven't used Tamir Extra Thin, you know what it is by now. If you watch my stuff, you haven't got any of this. Get some. It is just the best glue. Oh, thank you for that. And I get a free plastic tub, which I can put things in. I can put space moorings in here. I can store them while I'm working on them. If you watch Sunday's live stream, uh, I did go ahead and finish, after the stream, I did finish building the little space moorings, my little pri my Primark, my Primarni marines. They're all built and ready for priming and painting now. Cool. Right, what's next? What's next? There's still, there's loads more. I'm going to be here for it. This is going to be a long video. We have, uh, let's have a look. Uh, now he says, oh, Wow. Oh wow, dude, wait, what? Oh my. He says these are either for me or for prizes. Oh my life, right, let's go through these. Uh, okay, so I'm not sure which of these will be prizes and which I'll actually pocket for myself, but we'll find out. First of all, we have a little tiny Tamir cutting mat. That's really adorable. And it's like tra transparent. Cool. So if you're like, if you're like, um, sometimes what I'll do is I'll go and sit in the garden. I've got my little games workshop sort of workstation thing. And it's got a little Citadel cutting mat on there. These little mats are great. If you're just working downstairs on the dinner table or something, you don't want to take a big pile of space. And you're only making a small thing or you're sitting in the garden. That's really nice. So that'll be a prize. So we've got Tamir cutting mat. Thank you. We have, uh, oh, it's another one of these. We have another. Uh, ruled notebook. It's a Gundam ruled notebook. Where'd you get this from? In Scotland? I don't know. Uh, it's another ruled Gundam notebook. You remember I gave one of these away a while ago? Uh, this is for the... Ah! The last one I gave away I was a uh, RX-78 II. This is the uh, Dom 1. Is this a Dom? Dom 1? M uh, I can't quite read it. IMS... Oh, it's, no, it's an MS-09 Dom. So this is a Rick Dom book. So it's got the nice artwork on the front. And inside it's a ruled notebook. So remember I gave one of these away before. We've got another one to give away now. And they are really nice. So thank you for that. Does that come from the Gundam Cafe? I don't know. A little picture of a Dom on the back there. Cool. We have... Uh, if you're into your dioramas, this would be quite good. 
This would be really good, actually. If you're into your dioramas, I'm going to say these are probably ideal for, say, 144th scale. If you're doing a, a Gumpler that's 1144th scale. Or maybe 172nd scale, if you're doing something like that. We have some tree armatures. Some scale scenics tree armatures from Hornby. Little tiny trees. Which are really quite cute. The idea here is that you use these as, as the armatures. You use as the base of the trees. You can have them bare. Uh, or you can stick little leaves on if you get some of the ammo by Mig. Well, a bit the wrong scale, but some little tiny bits of flocking. You can stick them on individually if you want like one or two dead leaves. Or you can get some white glue on there, spray it on, and just flock them, and you'll get the leaf effect. Awesome. That will be a prize. So the tree armatures. Socle de support d'arbre. Baum amateurne. Sturto degli alberi or esqueletos de arbor. I can't read the other language. Never mind, I'll stop. I'll stop doing the bad accents. Detail scale model for adult collectors. Cool. So awesome. Yeah, so if you're doing dioramas and you'd say, I don't know, say 170 second scale, even 144 scale. Uh, perfect little trees. Save you having to make your own trees. And they look really nice. That one in the corner there, you can't quite see. Looks nice and gnarly. It looks better than the twigs I used on my diorama. <laughs> right. Now there's what's left in here now we have we have oh wow this is beautiful from the design studio press we have abacan 22 i'll move this out of the way abacan 2288 calamities world of mecha design part one and this is a collection of designs artworks oh wow look at this so background information loads of concept art look at this if you're into making your, me your mecha and not just gumpla 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 but you know you're a machine in Krieger or anything else you're gonna get a lot of inspiration from this look at this you've got vehicles a lot of inspiration for just designs if you're doing a lot of custom scratch building uh, you can see he's got some construction going on because he makes models as well uh, you've got lots of inspiration for weathering and paint jobs dioramas there's loads of artwork and look at this look at this i've seen some of these before actually this is incredible this is a beautiful book oh you could get so much inspiration from this step by step processes is what he's doing oh wow look at this that is awesome this is incredible dude this is awesome so yeah if you're into your mecha of any kind even even warhammer whatever you're making it doesn't really matter if you want look at that if you want you kind of i'm not even doing it on camera if you want inspiration if nothing else if you want inspiration for your paint jobs for your designs or even just customization ideas this is going to be an absolute font of knowledge this is incredible wow that is beautiful and i will give that away as a prize so the abacan 2288 calamity's world of mecha design part one uh, calamity luca zamporillo Zamporiolo, you can get it right, creates an imaginary future world dominated by dark undertones where protagonist robots, hard doll machines, aka HDMs, mass produced from recycled metal, are needed in a failing society to ensure to secure resources for mankind to progress its technology. So there you go. That is it's a beautiful coffee table book, but you get so much inspiration from that. I'm I'm reluctant to give it up because I could do with all the inspiration that this book will give me. But I'm going to give it up. I'm going to make it a prize. So there you go. Now, there are... I told you this was a long video. There are three things left. There's this. I don't know. I've got a low battery warning even though I'm plugged into the mains. How strange. I don't know what this is. Let's find out. There are two other things in the box which I am definitely going to make prizes. I think they are incredible. I don't know actually. Might, the one that I might get. Oh, let's find out. Let's just let's just get these open. Now I have lost official box opening knife, and now I appear to have lost non-official box. Oh, never. 
there it is so I don't know what this is this intrigues me it rattles let's find out let's find out lid on the knife flesh blade don't want to stab myself this stuff is incredible I can't believe how much you've actually sent me dude bubble wrap bubble wrap Oh, look at this. Oh. oh, we have. Oh, I am brew. They spelt it wrong, but I am brew fudge all my life. From the Uncle Fudge Company. Also, the Uncle Fudge Bantry. See, now we're getting to the Scottish meat and potatoes of this. We have some iron brew fudge. Oh, iron brew, made in Scotland from Gutters. We have. Some Caramac giant buttons. I love Caramac. Oh, he said some of these might have all melted together. It may be a giant. It may be a giant Caramac. Thank you so much. We have an enormous bar of Caramac that is bent round. Oh, we have Lee's Scottish tablet. Scottish tablet made to the traditional Lee's recipe. I don't know what a Scottish tablet is. Is it fudge? Is it like Kendall Bink cake? I shall find out in a minute. I'm going to find out now. Let's find out. Hang on. Hang on. Let's find out what a Scottish tablet is. It smells like. I think it's fudge. It tastes a bit like Caramac, but also fudge. <laughs> yeah. Mum, by the time you watch this, None of, the, none of these appeared. Don't watch this bit, Mum, because none of these things appeared. You won't have seen any of these. Right. Oh, and then we have some tubes of milk. Lakeland Dairies Milk. Somebody, somebody's been in a hotel or been to a, a, a motorway service station or something and had a load of the tubes of the milk. Awesome. Nobody's ever, <laughs> nobody's ever sent me milk before. That's just, that's just awesome. Hey, Fox, I'm going to send you some milk. There you go. That's brilliant. I always wanted milk. Now I've got milk. Got milk? Right, so that's those. Now what I'm gonna have I can't even I can't even fit all this on my desk. Look, there's all that. There's all this. Jeez. And there's still two more things to come. So what I'm gonna have to do is clear this desk and we'll do the last two objects. So back in a moment. This is all gonna make me so fat. One more of this. Where's that? Hang on. I just for just for research, I just need to double check. For science, and oh, um, um, um. okay, so we've cleared the desk for the last two things, and these last two things I kind of want to keep, but I'm not. I'm going to do them as giveaways for you guys. The last two things we have two kits. Remember, I always say to if you're a retailer or a manufacturer, feel free to get in touch, send me send me some stuff, and I'll give it away as prizes. Uh, well, so far, two of you lovely, lovely followers, not even retailers and manufacturers, have actually said to me, listen, I've got stuff in my stash. I'm never going to build it. Have it and give it away as prizes. And this is exactly what Jerry has done. He's got a couple of things from his stash. Uh, so, without further ado, we have, these will all become prizes for the Warhammer Sundays live stream. We have, first of all, this little beauty here, which is the, I have to go to the side because it's rubbed off the top, is the 8.8 centimetre uh, Rakuten Werfer Dreinwirzig Pupchen with Crew. Dreinwirzig, is that right? 43? Packeten Werfer Dreinwirzig Pupchen with Crew. Beautiful little kit. So you get this little gun, bless them, and these dudes. Let's have a look. This is by a Dragon. It's quite, it looks like quite an old kit. But they do do these little kits and little tiny kits. And just two screws, 135th scale. Dudes, I think it's 135th scale. Yes, 135th. Uh, dudes, and bits for the Pupchen. Pupchen. What did I say it was? I can't remember. It's the Raketenwerfer Dreunwirzig Pupchen with crew. That's really sweet. A little bit of blurb. Italeri, interestingly. It's a dragon, but it's got an Italeri thing in the bottom. There's something going on there, I think. And these look like wonderfully sculpted little figures. Dragon nowadays are known for their high quality and for their nice figure sculpts. And they look pretty cool. They've got, they've got the winter gear on. 
the winter outfit, so a nice job potential for camo on those guys there. And the gun looks fairly straightforward, nothing too complicated, but it'd be a nice little addition if you're making a diorama. Uh, say you've got a tank of some sort or a vehicle, a diorama, you want to add these figures in. That'd be really cool. So yeah, nice simple kit, good little weekend build, but plenty of scope for practicing your figure painting, get some good figure painting going there. So I like that. So that's one. That's the first one. So this will become a prize on the wheel of giveaways on the Warhammer Sunday live stream. Now, he's also included something else, something a bit special. And I'm, I'm gobsmacked he sent this as a prize to give away as a prize. I am tempted to keep it myself, but I'm not going to. I'm going to give it to you guys as a prize. It's going to go onto the wheel of giveaways and it is the Meng AMX 30B2 or the 30B2, however you want to say that. French main battle tank, 135th. Look at that. It's the 135th Tyrannosaurus series. This product is for users aged above 14 only, ready to assemble, cement and paint not included. This is not a toy. Realistic and movable tor torsion bar suspension system. Workable track links included. If you like making your tracks, you'll be in heaven. Clear lights and periscopes. Partial turret interior provided and precision photo etch parts included. Look at that. These are like £380 or something. That's incredible. It's a second generation MBT equipped by the French Army. Sacrifices protection for lightweight. Brilliant. Yeah, you, you'll die straight away, but you can get there fast. Equipped with a 15mm L56 rifted, uh, rifled gun. I can't read it. Rifled gun and also a 20mm auto cannon. See, now we're getting into Warhammer. Auto cannon. It's Warhammer talk. Against slow flight vehicles. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Dude, what are you giving away here? For those of you who like making your tracks, <laughs> and right now Joanna Hammond is just having kittens. Look at the tracks on that. You'll have fun making those tracks for a couple of weeks. Now, being a Meng, of course, it's beautifully sculpted. It's got tons and tons of tiny, intricate detail. Some extractor thing there. Tons and tons of tiny detail, loads and loads of like really delightful, subtle panel lines, rivet detail, hatches, clasps, really thin, spindly railings. Oh, this, this is gorgeous. Tons and, you'll be doing, this will be a really long build. You'll have fun with this. So yeah, oh, look at that. That's incredible. I cannot believe, mate, that you've sent me this to give away as a prize. Because, wow. Everybody say thank you, Jerry. Thank you, Jerry. See, this is why I love you guys. Because I just say, if you've got anything in your stash you want to, you know, you're not going to do, just, just, I'll give it away as a prize. Thinking I'll get some old kits and stuff that you're never going to make, that you've had for years. But you're sending me stuff like this. Premium quality, top end kits. You guys are just the best. Look at that. It's going to take you a long time to make this. And I don't just mean the tracks. I <laughs> See, I don't have the patience for tracks, but I know some of you do. Some of you actually enjoy it. Ted thinks it's quite relaxing making tracks, but then Ted is a crazy fool. So there you go. Oh, look at that. So, wow. I'm, I'm gobsmacked, Jerry. I'm also running out of desk space. So there you have it two awesome kits for giveaways we have i've put them away now but the cutting map and that gorgeous gorgeous mecha reference book uh for giveaways that's a whole new bunch of prizes to add to the wheel of giveaways on the warhammer sunday streams i can't thank you enough jerry thank you so much so don't forget to watch warhammer sundays every sunday 3 p.m bst where I work on my Warhammer army, but it doesn't really matter what I'm doing, because all we're doing is hanging out and having a good time. And you will have the chance to win one of these or one of the existing kits. Now, there is a bit of an update uh, on the kits I mentioned that I showed uh, in last week's mailbag video. Tony sent me those wonderful kits to give away, the, you know, the Messerschmitt and all the other ones. Um, there is an update on one of them, the little Mustang kit, the Hurry Home Honey. Um, he suddenly realised, I hadn't noticed, but he suddenly realised the canopy wasn't in the kit. It has disappeared, it's vanished. So what I'm going to do, I've taken that off the wheel of giveaways for the moment. Uh, although he thinks he might know where it is. So, I don't want to give it away with the canopy missing, so we've taken that off the wheel of giveaways. Uh, and if Tony can find it, we'll get it back on the wheel of giveaways. 
just for you to so you can then try and win it but these will go on as well as will that gorgeous gorgeous book i'm so tempted to keep that book for myself i may just have to take a lot of photographs of all the pages <laughs> just for my reference because you know when you want to do a custom paint job on a gumpler good luck trying to figure a custom paint job out your brain just goes Pleh. so i might take a few pictures from inside that because i've got to do my cachatri after i finish the stripe rouge so i've got to do my cachatri and i want to do a custom color scheme so we'll see but yes awesome stuff all the snacks in the world there we have the little trees we have the little trees we have uh, can't get everything out now the big mecca book we have the beautiful little notebook the rig dom notebook and of course this fantastic little cutting mat all these will become giveaway prizes i will not be giving away the milk because i actually need to go and get some milk and all that milk you sent me jerry saves me going to the shop later yes so jerry i cannot thank you enough you are a crazy fool you and tony are both absolute nutters thank you very much for all this stuff all the goodness I will eat all the noodles. I'll try and get as many uh, mystery nom times out of all the foods and snacks that both of you have sent me over the last few weeks and all of you have sent me. Some of them I'll just have to do like reviews because we know what's in them. But let's just, let's just get to the important stuff, shall we? Because all this is good, but it's not as important as finding out, does the iron brew fudge taste like iron brew? Let's find out. Let's find out now, live on telly. So yes, Jerry, thank you so much. I cannot thank you enough. Uh, and everybody, everybody watching, can't thank you enough. These are absolutely beautiful gifts. Don't forget, of course, Warhammer Sundays, 3 p.m. BST on my YouTube channel. Oh, it smells like iron brew. Oh, it smells just like iron brew. And uh, don't forget, of course, if you're not already a member, do go along to the Model Makers Boom Hut, facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash model boom hut. It's the best group on the internet for model making. I'm just getting this iron brew out. I'm using my proper knife now. It's sacrilege on food, but I have to clean it off. Um, best group on the internet, Ooh, it's squishy, for model making. There's no snark, no bitching, no nastiness, nothing allowed. We don't allow it. So go and check it out, Model Makers Boom Hut. And last of all, if you'd like to keep this channel going, if you'd like to help support this channel, do pop along to my Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash model making guru where you can make a monthly pledge, keep the channel going. Or there is a tip jar, and I'll put the address down here, uh, streamlabs.com uh, stream forward slash model making guru, where if you don't want to commit to a, a Patreon every month, you can just give, leave a tip. It'd be much appreciated. Just keeps this channel going, keeps the lights on. Anyway, serious business. Iron Brew Fudge. Smells exactly like Iron Brew. I suspect it's got Iron Brew in it, so let's, let's give it a taste. <laughs> it's like solid iron brew. Oh, best thing ever. Oh, I'm going to go away and eat all this now. Oh, Mum, you're getting on of that. Sorry. Bye. Oh, I forgot. Take care of yourselves. Go make something awesome. Go be awesome. Adios, amigos. Bye. Oh.